We hone in on Vodacom Park for the 76th encounter between these two countries. Matt feels the man to proceed, just going in to get his hands on the ball. Rousseau, I'm not sure that was deliberately collapsing the wall. No, the referee saying you didn't run away. It looked like Thorne had got hands on the ball there, but seems to be holding it on the ground, and that's certainly the decision from Alan Roland. The connection is good. It's flying, it's flying beautifully. You watch Rousseau working there at the back of the mall. He went in, grabbed the ball. Now he's in possession and a penalty. Farida Peel wanted to take quickly. Initially a little, little good spurt from the All Blacks as they defended. And then it was Kano who just had to pull it down. And almost critical particularly for him and South Africa that this ball goes over the crossbar will it turn in? Yes it will! Dupria, Pina, De Villiers oh brilliant tackle by Smith and Pina run Pina! With his dad scored in 1980 the exact same corner against the British and Irish Lions what a moment for the Pina family what a moment for South African rugby fans. Scathing tackle from Conrad Smith, cutting down John de Villiers in his tracks, round the ankles, but popping the ball up to the supporting Pinar. Donald committed to the tackle. Now it's Pinar. Brousseau, de Villiers, and penalty South Africa. Brousseau has not heard the whistle more of the crowd. The crowd screaming for John Smith. The combination between the cheetah's flanks, superb, but to no avail. I think the penalty was against Ma Noni for being offside here. Yeah, no, he's standing way in front of the, the tackle line already. Francois Stein bangs it hard and true. That's for the gates. Say back, say back. Soiola, they're doing a lot of that. Soiola and Leonard. Smith has done well here. Conrad Smith, can he find a man? He doesn't need one. Brilliant try by the All Black Centre. Absolutely brilliant. They call him Snake because he just slides through gaps. Well, he has slithered and snaked his way right through the South African defence here. It's a great individual effort. Didn't look like much was on. In fact, when he had an end field, I thought he may well have needed to move that ball outside. Sit back, we. We poo once again. Now Rokotoko. Both wings involved. Rousseau was there. Hands out, says Alain Roland. Penalty to the All Blacks. What has impressed me is the way that the All Blacks have cleaned out Bismarck, uh, cleaned out Heinrich Rousseau at the breakdown. Here came the turnover. Donald maybe should have looked outside and gone wide. And we'll see Bismarck get to see a fr uh, Heinrich Rousseau cleaned up so well by Conrad Smith on this occasion. And then the hands in from Bismarck. Well, he's really been a consistent kicker for the All Blacks, Stephen Donald. Another well-taken penalty. Eaton gets, took his eyes off at the boot ahead by Spies. Now the sprint is on, and Spies can sprint. Oh, this, that's brilliant work by Smith. And uh, getting back there, well now a chance for John Smith. Jack Perry! Jack Perry! The All Blacks were applying the pressure. Piri Wipu took an age to organise things and then threw a shocking pass to Jason Eaton. Spiss, unbelievable. Big, strong, powerful, great chase. And then this dreadful little ball inside from Piri Wipu. McCaw couldn't control it. The little pop pass out from Juan Smith. Shockbury ran it in. But the pressure from South Africa, ball in hand and when defending, is really what has forced the All Blacks to make so many errors tonight. It's a long, long time ago since South Africa beat the All Blacks in two consecutive test matches.